Hi witches, so today I wanted to share a little spell with you guys um, and I really want to put this spell out there for any witches who are confronting any sort of trauma right now. Um, so this is going to be a really really low energy spell. I know that sometimes some days I just can't like do anything much less get out of bed. Um, so you'll really you'll only need four things and this is going to be a pretty quick video um, and I'm going to walk you through all the steps. So. Um, if you don't know already, I've been diagnosed with PTSD, um, and sometimes when my trauma is like really triggered or I'm like really, really, really dwelling on something, um, I, I I like this spell because I feel like it's a good um, meditation and visualization aid um, for releasing that point of trauma and helping me work past it. So it's kind of like a very visual and very physical manifestation of what I want to happen, which is like that trauma point to get away from me and like out of my life, right? Um, this in and of itself is super hard. So if, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say like this spell will like cure everything that you're sad about because that's not really what it is. Um, if at any point you feel uncomfortable, it is a-okay to stop. Um, I also, as always, recommend that people use mundane methods, a like i.e. taking medication prescribed by your doctor, um, or going to see a therapist if you really are struggling with like PTSD or anxiety, depression, whatever, whatever you might be dealing with. Um, I have a whole host of mental illnesses. It's great. Sometimes I feel like I get stuck in this loop where I just keep thinking about something and like obsessing over it almost. Um, so this is a good way that I personally can um, just kind of release that. And it's, it's kind of a a way for me to like almost like put a period at the end of the sentence where I'm like we're not thinking about this anymore like this is not going to be part of your life anymore you are releasing it so that's really um this kind of goes hand in hand with the waning moose moon the waning moose guys I'm really tired I've been working all day I'm so sorry um but <laughs> um it's really good for the waning moon cycle the biggest associations with the waning moon is the um element of banishment and banishing things so i just think that it's really good to use in order to kind of just get rid of some of that stuff right um so for the spell you'll need the following um you will need a black candle of some kind this is a chime candle it could be a birthday candle a chime candle which is this thing and these are literally this size i hope you can see it i am a beauty influencer now that um, or even a larger candle um if you are using this as part of your shadow work um i'm actually considering getting a large like black pillar candle kind of like the red one that i have burning right now um and using it for future future shadow workings um that i just i have a feeling my new deity is going to want to do that so that's what we're going to do so along with your candle you will need um a piece of paper a pen and a fire safe bolt i have my little mini cauldron which is currently in use elsewhere in the household um but if you have a small just like fire safe bowl it can be I recommend metal um and I really like the little tiny mini cauldrons they are not super duper expensive if you can find them um, a lot of metaphysical stores have them because they are cute and like marketable but I really like mine so recommend it uh, but basically what you will do is take this piece of paper and it can be literally any piece of paper it could be a receipt it can be cardstock it could be paper you made yourself if that is really what you want to do paper that's all you need and just write down like what you're feeling what you're struggling with what you like how it makes you feel it just like get it all out I I see this almost like like literal word vomit where I'm just like getting all of this stuff out of my body that is like poisoning me, right? Um, so whatever you want to banish, you can make a sigil if you want, if it com culminates in one word. Um, I'm a long-winded ass bitch, so like I like to write everything out, but it's completely up to you. Um, and then just really just charge that, like feel that emotion. And this is why I'm saying like, if it gets too intense for you, it's okay to stop. Nothing bad will happen to you if you stop halfway through the spell. Just really get all of that stuff out and like really feel and sit with that emotion and let it leave your body into that piece of paper and i know that sounds esoteric but you know what we're witches so i think you know what i mean right am i am i off i don't know anyways um so you're going to charge that piece of paper with all that negative icky stuff that you no longer want and really allow it all just to like completely flow out of you um and into that like that piece of paper now because of that because it's like accepting all of that energy it's like a vessel, right? So if I, it's a little bit magical. I feel like it's more fun to call it a vessel. Um, and that piece of paper, the reason that we want to do that is because we're about to destroy it and get it out of our lives forever. So what you'll do next is light the black candle. Um, 
and then quickly like light the piece of paper on fire with that candle and put it into the fire safe bowl to completely smolder out. Um, watch the flame, like this is kind of the meditative aspect of it. I like to watch the flame like kind of eat away at the paper. A, I think it looks cool and B, it really like, I can like really focus in and just like that can be like the only thing I'm thinking about. Um, and just like watch it destroy all of that negative shit that you just got out of your system. I'm sorry, I guess I'm swearing a lot today. That's really weird. Um, I'm not usually like that. I guess I'm just feeling punchy. But anyways, um, as you're watching that, that paper get physically destroyed, like, I, I hope that you guys can feel the negativity just leaving and getting away from you. Um, I also recommend that you let the candle burn all the way down if you are using a small one. So birthday candles are pretty quick about that. Um, but chime candles can be a little bit longer. So if you want to do a meditation, a cleansing meditation, um, like a guided meditation or like a full body scan one, those are pretty cool. They kind of help you get aligned and like cleansed. Um, that's kind of my go-to. Um, and at the very least, ground yourself and let that negativity out of your life because it doesn't have a place there and you don't need to have it there. So um, I, I, I hope you guys kind of like, as you are doing the spell, feel an overwhelming sense of peace. Um, I, I, I do recommend black candles because it is a protective color, but white or any other color will really do. Like as always, I just, I want to encourage you guys to use what you have on hand and just know that you do not have to spend a lot of money on this. It's it's a it's witchcraft like don't worry about it um so again just to make things a hundred percent clear this spell is not an alternative to therapy if you are really really struggling with something i want to like make sure that everyone knows like this spell is not like a substitute for talking to a professional it is great and it is a great aid um and i like to use both things in tandem i really recommend it and i advocate for it um but i i, I think it's a really great tool for visualizing the banishment of that negative thing and getting that out, out of your life forever so um i hope you guys if you do try this spell let me know how it goes for you i hope it brings you like just peace and like calm and you know fulfillment and whatever you really truly need um and i hope you guys have a great day <laughs> bye